Welcome back to another video guys. So today we're going to be taking a look at my 118 scale military vehicle collection. My collection consists of multiple tanks, jeeps, trucks, as well as planes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with this shelf over here. So right over here, I've got an Elite Force uh, 118 scale Little Bird helicopter. You got the pilot in there and it's actually on a trailer right now. I found this pretty cool uh, die cast metal trailer to go with the helicopter. So that's pretty neat. And then we've got this uh, Maisto 118 scale Humvee. Don't mind the engine stickers. At one point, this was a uh, background piece for some Jurassic Park stuff that I did in the past. Uh, but now it's just chilling with the uh, little bird right here. And then we've got a uh, figure on top there. Moving over on this shelf, we have a pretty cool dirt bike with a uh, soldier. Got a shotgun right on the top there. And these are kind of like my uh, Russian slash Ukrainian, just European vehicles right here. So this is a uh, Ural military truck. And then you've got... Uh, this is actually from Indiana Jones, this figure right here. I forget his exact name, but he's got a pretty cool AK right there, kind of hanging out on the side. Uh, and then right next to it, we have a, this is not 118 scale, okay? It's kind of hard to find a 118 scale uh, T-72 tank, but this is in 116 scale, and it is radio control, so that's pretty cool. Got a little Ukrainian flag right there. Moving up right here, we have some uh, World War II American tanks, and we got two Jeeps right here. So they're basically M4 Sherman tanks, different variants here. Very nice detail. This is a Bravo Team M4 Sherman tank, kind of the more rare or harder to find version. And then we have the uh, 21st Century Toys M4 Sherman, a lot of accessories. And we have two Jeeps here. Uh, this is, I believe, from Gate Models, and this is a Salido uh, Jeep. Let me show you the hood there. Shows some pretty good engine detail. And we've got a figure right here. And then over here, we have some of my favorite tanks in the collection, and these are two uh, German tanks. So if one is going to be a uh, Panther tank, and the other is a Tiger One. Panthers got some really nice camo going along there. A lot of great detail. A lot of these hatches and uh, things open up here on the tanks. And that's what I love about 21st Century Toys is that, you know, they impl implement a lot of good detail on their tank models. There's a Tiger One. We have another Indiana Jones figure. And then moving up, we have some more World War II German vehicles, as well as a uh, Pac-40 gun right there. Got the figure holding the uh, ammunition that would go for the uh, Pack 40. Some more accessories. And then there's a uh, half track. Some more figures. That's a, another Indiana Jones. Uh, well, that's actually two figures in there. And then this is the uh, truck, the cargo truck that was featured in the movie. Very nice vehicle, getting more harder and harder to find. And this next shelf is actually kind of set up like a uh, diorama of a uh, military base in Vietnam, an American military base. Probably one of my favorite shelves at the moment, just because of the way it looks and the way it's set up. But we can start here. Got a nice little welcome sign, some trees, you know, uh, forestry, little accessories. We've got a flamethrower right there. Got a Marine firing at someone there. I mean, some pretty cool pieces right there and then we have a uh i think it's m151 mutt jeep another marine i think that's an m60 machine gun i may be incorrect buzzsaw whatever they call it very nice jeep and then we got the m48 Patton, another favorite tank of mine very nice detail also by 21st century toys Forgot to mention that, uh, yeah, these two are by 21st Century Toys. The other one is not. And these are also 21st Century Toys. Just in case anybody's trying to pick these up. I know these uh, quite a few of these models are actually still available, like, on uh, reselling platforms like eBay and stuff like that. So you should be able to find some of them. They're definitely not as cheap as they used to be. But So that concludes all of my tanks, Jeeps, and trucks. Now let's go ahead and move along to the planes here. Now this is actually a uh, 
homemade half track that I did actually make and paint myself out of cardboard just because I was bored one day, but <laughs> looks pretty good. Uh, but yeah, this is a ME109 or Messerschmitt 109. Don't get it mixed up with the BF109. I know it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but if you know your stuff, you can tell the difference. Very nice plane by 21st Century Toys. You can see the, uh, the pilot in there. Very cool. And right next to the ME109, we have a P47D Thunderbolt. This is the Razorback version. They call the Razorback because of the uh, canopy there. There's also another name, uh, which is the Bubble Top uh, P47D version, which is more of like a rounded uh, canopy. But supposedly this one is the more rare one. But very nice plane, also by 21st Century Toys. Got some nose art and... You know, you got the rocket pods. I mean, just, just amazing detail all the way around on these models. Now, this is actually pretty funny. This is a G.I. Joe uh, weapons carrier. Um, I think that's the name of it. It's also carrying a, uh, not the correct bomb. So this is, I think this is from the 80s. I forget the exact year the, uh, the truck thing, the weapons carrier is. Uh, but the bomb is not from G.I. Joe. It's actually a legitimate 21st Century Toys bomb. You can actually see one right there. Um, and then we have a figure also from 21st Century Toys to go along with the weapons carrier. So I couldn't find anything like close to weapons carrier. And then I thought, hey, look, I think there's a, you know, G.I. Joe has made a few of these uh, vehicles, you know, to go on the uh, aircraft carrier that they released. So I thought that paired up pretty well with the, you know, 118 scale planes. Moving along, we have one of my favorite planes in the collection, and that is the TBF-1 Avenger. This is a pretty massive plane. I mean, the P-47 uh, is pretty big as well, but, I mean, just the size of the TBF-1, I mean, that's much larger, but, you know, pretty cool. Got another bomb there in a the case. Got one of the pilots, or the, uh, the figures that go with the plane. Pilots in there already. Um... I love the fact that, and this is also by 21st Century Toys, but I love the fact that, you know, it has the folding wing feature. And, you know, back then, they did have folding wings just so they could fit on the elevators that they had on the aircraft carriers, which would uh, be able to go from the uh, bottom deck up top to the main deck. Um, and then if they needed to, like, repair the plane, it would go on the ele elevator and it would come back down to the bottom deck and they would fix it up or whatever, rearm it, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, the folding wing feature definitely helped a lot space wise, I would say in real life, but when you're trying to collect these and display them, uh, yeah, definitely helps <laughs> to, uh, to have the uh, folding wing feature. So very nice play. And then the last shelf for my 118 scale collection would be my Japanese world war two, uh, display here. Now. We do have, the only things that are actually made by a company are these two figures right here. And these are from 21st Century Toys, uh, two Japanese Marines, very nicely detailed. One has a machine gun, the other a rifle. Um, but this is a Hago tank. Not sure if you were able to recognize it or not, because it was actually also a homemade tank. Uh, I could not find a 118th scale Hago anywhere. So I made one, and it's probably not to scale, but you know what? It looks good, and it's just going to have to do for now. Um, and it's also made from cardboard, just in case you're curious. Yeah. If I don't have it, I try to make it, and I try to make it to the best uh, possible uh, look, I guess. So, And then we also have a uh, float plane. I forget the ex I think it's A something M, 6M, I don't know. Um, but this, these were actually usually put on the back of battleships and stuff, and they would launch them out for like scouting missions or whatever. Um, but there are a bunch of different things that they did with these planes. And this is actually a balsa wood model, not 118 scale. It's pretty much, much more smaller than the uh, actual 118 scale planes that I have. Um, but I soon hope to one day grab a 118 scale Japanese zero plane because I know, uh, elite force, and I think 21st Century Toys produced some of those planes as well. So definitely want to pick one up eventually. Yeah, and then we got the nice flag in the back. So yeah, very nice display that I've got going on here. Hope to do some more to it in the future. 
So yeah, folks, that's going to have to do it for this video. Make sure to drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, guys, because you don't want to miss my upcoming videos. I do make unboxing and review videos uh, every so often, so definitely make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, guys, have a good one.